Shad Deuces says deuces to New York City and heads to Tampa Bay as the Rangers buy him out and signs a one-year deal with the Lightning. Who else would he sign with? you know podcast today matt is on with me and we were planning on doing the baseball podcast and i really want to do that with him so therefore there won't be a podcast today look for it next week before the video gets started i want to show you guys what i've been doing to my room okay so i've basically been getting every retired number banner from the rangers and i'm gonna put it above my closet doors pretty exciting and also here is a sneak peek of what i will be wearing in future videos so in 1718, his first season as a New York Ranger, Kevin Shankirk only put up 23 points, but he only played in 46 games. It was his lowest point total since the 2012-13 lockout season. Prior to the 12-13 season, a lot of players went overseas to play hockey. Kevin Shankirk was one of those guys, and actually played for TPS Turku, which is Capo Caco's team that the Rangers just drafted him from. We bought out Kevin Shacker, and now we have Stolen and Smith, and basically they're tied down to huge contracts that the Rangers probably cannot move. If you can keep Stoll, which is fine by me, and then possibly bury Brendan Smith's contract in the AHL, then you're set. I believe that is the plan that the Rangers, Jeff Gordon, and David Quinn, I think that's their plan. I think they're going to bury Smith in the AHL, which is a smart move, to make a little more cap space. And I've been seeing a lot on Twitter, a lot on YouTube videos, that the Rangers are looking to acquire possibly another left-handed defenseman to help them out on the left side. I don't know if that's really necessary. You know, the Rangers' plan is to stick to the plan. You know, I understand that playoffs might be a definite, but, I mean, it never is. I think the Rangers are set right now. I'm not saying that they're a contender. I'm not saying they're making the playoffs. However, this is a very good young team that they have to rely on their young players and young core, basically, to thrive in Madison Square Garden and in a very tough metropolitan division. The Rangers also still need to re-sign Tony D'Angelo and Brendan Lemieux. I feel like I've been saying that for weeks. Chad Kirk, I wish you the best of luck in Tampa Bay. Thank you so much for your two years. I think it's awesome that you were a born New York Ranger fan and were able to come here and play a couple seasons. Injury derailed you, I understand. It just sucks. Now, as for the other side of it, Tampa Bay gets a right-handed defenseman, Kevin Shattenkirk, who could possibly turn his season around like that. He just wasn't in the Rangers' plans. He wasn't in the Rangers' blueprint of how the team wants to look in two years. In the Tampa Bay Lightning now are destined to have another sick season. They need to have a, have a good season and then possibly not blow it up in the playoffs. <sighs> wow. That was, that was tough to watch. Jeez, I, if, T if Tampa, I mean, you have enough former Rangers, you want to get one more, fine, take Shattenkirk. There is a little curse going around with Kevin Shattenkirk where he left the Washington Capitals and they win the Stanley Cup. He leaves the St. Louis Blues a couple seasons ago when he went to Washington, and boom, this past season, Stanley Cup champions. So, who will win a Stanley Cup first? The Tampa Bay Lightning, Kevin Shattenkirk, or the New York Rangers? Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, remember to click the like button. If you want to watch another video, click right there. If you want to watch a playlist and start from the beginning, click right there. Remember to subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you guys later.